Hi muckers, welcome back to the circus and now we have got to go through Gabby Hanna now coming for Trisha Paytas But more importantly, let me show you a little Tyler update He's getting so 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 big and I love him very much me and him actually just woke up from naps together So yeah, look how big he's getting. He is a big 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 boy So yeah, I literally have been sleeping here for the past like six hours because these animals make me feel more tired than I am Because whenever they're sleepy, I feel like I'm sleepy. Oh my god, I'm like an empath Shane Dawson and then in the background here I don't know if you can see come here come here come here they want to say hello come here um this is a new addition come on do you want to say hello very 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 baby <laughs> oh my god everyone say hi to Milo this is now the little addition to the family here in Brighton so Bonnie and Tyler's uh, little younger brother he's actually the same age as Tyler um, and he's a lot smaller he is a British short hair and he definitely wants to get down but just say hello Milo oh my god he's so cute so let's just get straight into the video I just wanted to give you that little intro um, okay so as we're aware Gabby Hanna has been absolutely manic on social media for the past couple of weeks and this is obviously an attention-seeking move and now the reason I'm saying that and that sounds very harsh is because Gabby has came forward saying that she's not having a breakdown, she's not having a meltdown, she's never been better, people who assume that are disgusting and she knows what she's doing and this is one big plan so let's take it at face value with her saying that because I feel like any other way is probably disrespectful. So Gabby Hanna is not having a breakdown people, not having a meltdown is perfectly fine and is a completely sane acting human with all these decisions that we're seeing, okay? Very hard to believe but we're going to believe it. Um, attacked Angelica Oles, literally 30 minute video that I posted on that yesterday, has been acting out on social media, attacking everyone, and then saying that this is her way of getting karma and defending herself, and you know, harassing people is bad, but is spending her entire time harassing people. And one of the people that uh, Gabby has been coming after non-stop has been Trisha Paytas. Now, Trisha and Gabby have had this back and forth relationship for... 2019, 2021, three years now, whenever it started with Gabby Hanna telling Jason Nash, who was Trisha's uh, boyfriend at the time, that Trisha had herpes whenever Trisha didn't. And obviously, we don't need to get into why that's wrong whenever you're just spreading rumors about them at the time, Trisha. And so that was the full thing. There's been this back and forth since. Recently, Trisha went on Gabby's podcast. They seemingly were in a better place. Um, the podcast was extremely awkward. It looked like a therapy session that Gabby was making Trisha sit through that they didn't want to be there for. And it was just extremely awkward and they've kind of been mute on each other on social media since. Trisha has been speaking up about the fact that they are concerned for Gabby's safety and the safety of others based on Gabby's actions. And Gabby has just been coming back calling Trisha all the names under the sun not to forget that Gabby has literally been literally been coming for Trisha and now going out of her way to mispronoun Trisha now we're all aware that Trisha has announced that Trisha goes by they them pronouns now come on people you don't have to respect someone come on boy I'm making sure that people comment by the way that make sure they don't go at the salt lamps they're just enticed by the light but he's not going at it. Yeah, he's more interested in my Amazon Alexa, but come on. I'm actually gonna put him out of the room because I don't allow the cats in here. So give me a second. Sorry, that was chaotic and I'm back. The cats aren't allowed in this room. This is my like chill out room. They're in here for seeing the videos. So that's why they were going back there. Cats, salt lamps, don't mix people. So if you have cats as well, Keep that noted. Um, so you don't have to respect someone as a person to respect their pronouns. And people were commenting saying, Trisha has came out as a chicken nugget in the past, has came out as a man in the past, has came out as, like, why should I have to go out of my way to respect their pronouns? And it's like, okay, if you don't like Trisha, fine. But you're setting an example moving forward. So Gabby was getting called out for using the wrong pronouns for Trisha whenever Trisha had literally just announced recently, they, them pronouns. Um, which pretty much all of the mucker community have been abiding by, you know what I mean? Good on you, but again, it's the bare minimum. Um, and so Gabby apologized for it and blamed it on her ADHD, saying, oh, short-term memory, ADHD. 
And since has been going out of her way to say, you know, girl this, girl that about Trisha, she this, her that, like, uh, she's this, she, like, literally going out of her way to excessively use it because uh, Gabby knows that that's the thing that will trigger Trisha most and get Trisha to come back, which I think is absolutely disgusting. So now that we're aware of that, let's watch these videos by Gabby about Trisha on TikTok. Um, I see that Gabby is trying to appeal to the children on there. So the first one is... Take Gabby said, take this as a soft announcement. Series coming soon. Keep an eye out for the trailer. Thank you for participating. This is a soft announcement. Series coming soon. Keep an eye out for the trailer D for participating. Enjoy the show. Dot. It'll be over soon. Few you, but not. Take this as a soft announcement. <sighs> Gabby, we don't care. Gabby, no one is keeping up with The Gabby Show in 2021. So now we just go on to this video that says, I want to thank my friend Trisha Paytas for inspiring and encouraging me. Thank you for never leaving me. Your persistence is admirable. What's to this? me, like I said, I view you as drama. Maybe that's not you want to be or whatever, but that's hot. And I yeah. love, I like that. I think it's interesting. And to me, it's a good thing. I'm like, oh, she's being talked it. about. Right. Yeah. To me, like I said, I view you as drama. Maybe that's not you want to be or whatever, but that's hot. And I yeah. love, I like that. I think it's interesting. And to me, it's a good thing. I'm like, oh, she's being talked it. about. Right. Yeah. So all the comments on this is literally, you're obsessed with Trisha, get over it. Miss Gabby, it's time to log out. This is clearly sarcastic. Gabby, get help. Gabby just wants the frenemies clout, so no one's on her side. So now we have this video that Gabby made an entire video off of Trisha commenting an emoji. An emoji. Gabby? Hannah. Oh. Gabby makes this entire following video we're about to watch about Trisha commenting an emoji in relation to Gabby. And we're supposed to believe that this person is... Oh, okay. Trisha Paytas is upset that I called her untalented, even though she's allowed to have an opinion about me. She says everyone can have an opinion. She has an opinion about my music. But what's this? G Trisha commented, embarrassed emoji. That's it! About a TikTok that someone said, hey, singing isn't for everyone. Love the confidence. So about Gabby singing. Trisha commented the embarrassed emoji, and Gabby made this entire video. What? You're making fun of me online, you hypocritical fake bitch. <laughs> Trisha Paytas is upset what? that I called her untalented, even though she's allowed to have an opinion about me. She says everyone can have an opinion. She has an opinion about my music. But what's this? You're making fun of me online, you hypocritical fake bitch. <laughs> what? What does this even mean? It's like, Gabby, Gabby. <laughs> The comments. It's an emoji. Are, or it's an emoji. Are we reading into things, Bestie? Another person said, an emoji. Someone said, and yet yeah, you are untalented, Gabby. Who are you again? Girl, no one is taking your side in this. Was this video necessary for an emoji? One last time, because this is about an emoji. Trisha Paytas is upset that I called her untalented, even though she's allowed to have an opinion about me. She says everyone can have an opinion. She has an opinion about my music, but what's this? You're making fun of me online, you hypocritical fake bitch. <laughs> what? And so now we go on, and Gabby is now leaking um, her text conversations uh, with them, um, Trisha. So here we go. As far as Thanksgiving, I wasn't exactly right. Uh, you just said that you were going to stay home and that you should have and we could have just eaten together. So no, you didn't invite me to Thanksgiving, but I got that fact a little bit mixed up because that's what happens when somebody that you haven't been friends with for a long time keeps dragging you into their fucking mess online. So sorry, I misremembered. I was thinking about this. Sorry about that. Um, but since I was looking through all of our conversations from 2016 to 2019, I thought it would be fun to show everybody the friendship that you said didn't fucking exist because you didn't know me, right? Despite the fact that I have years of text messages saved between us. I don't know why you lie like this. You're a really, really mean, malicious person. Like, I just, what are you so afraid? Well, I know what you're so afraid of and so will everybody soon. As far as things- Gabby is going out of her way to threaten people online now. I know what you're scared about and soon everyone will too. Who's everyone? No one's gonna watch your video, Gabby. 
Spill Sesh is going to do a video on it and double the amount of views that you do. I'm going to actually have to te <laughs> text Spill Sesh and be like, whenever Gabby releases this series, let's do videos recapping it and get more views than Gabby. Because that's how it works with you, Gabby. Literally, uh, okay, <laughs> I won't say my friend's name because they will get in trouble. Gabby knows who. They, we talk all the time about Gabby and they were like, Gabby Hanna has to have a humiliation kink. <laughs> like, and I was like, damn, everything Gabby does, she gets humiliated. Her work, her online presence, it must be a kink. A humiliation kink. It makes sense when you think about it like that. So anyway, that was a funny um, text I got from my friend. Um, so, Gabby is now saying that Trisha is going out of their way to say that a friendship never happened between them. Now, let me quickly pull up this video right here. So, Trisha and Gabby, apparently best friends in comparison to what Gabby is trying to tell us. So now I'm scrolling through and I'm going to show you this video that resurfaced, if I can find it. Again, this was quite some time ago and it was from Gabby, basically saying that they were never friends. Here we go. So, uh, because... Okay, so here we have a video from Gabby saying that they're obviously not close with Trisha, but yet Gabby now is telling us, I was besties with Trisha and Trisha doesn't want to admit it. In being painted as a villain for two, a year, two years, I don't know how long, because I knew somebody was sleeping with someone who I wasn't close with her. I was close with him and I heard that she had an incurable STD. He told me he slept with her. I literally said, hey, this person I've heard in being painted. So from Gabby's mouth that Gabby and Trisha really weren't friends, but now Gabby's running with the narrative that we were friends. So now that you're aware of that, keep in mind this again. Thanksgiving, I wasn't exactly right. And also Gabby now being like, I wasn't exactly right in the narrative that I've been harassing Trisha with but it's okay because I'm willing to say that I messed up on it even though I've literally been harassing the internet and Trisha with this lie for so long. <laughs> uh, you just said that you were gonna stay home and that you should have and we could have just eaten together. So no, you didn't invite me to Thanksgiving, but I got that fact a little bit mixed up because that's- A little bit mixed up? What is this proving? That you haven't been friends with for a long time keeps dragging you into their fucking mess online. So, sorry, I misremembered. I was thinking about this. Sorry about that. Um, but since I was looking through all of our conversations from 2016 to 2019, I thought it would be fun to show everybody the friendship that you said didn't fucking exist. You said it didn't exist either. Because you didn't know me, right? You this didn't know what that I have <laughs> years of text messages saved between us. I don't know why you lie like this. You're a really, really mean, malicious person. Like, I just, what are you so afraid? Well, I know what you're so afraid of, and so will everybody soon. And now we have one final one. Is this the final one? I think it is, with more text being leaked. I'm actually really happy you brought this up because Trisha herself has been upset since 2017 that the internet didn't know that we were friends. We're not anymore, obviously, but her story is that we were never friends and that she never knew me and that I'm delusional and imagined a friendship. And I think that's fucked up. I'm so confused. So the text from Trisha says, oh my God, you'll be at Joey Graceffa's surprise birthday Saturday. Um, we need a selfie. I'm tired of the internet not knowing that uh, we are friends. Okay, but Gabby, we have you on record saying that you were never friends with Trisha. So... Their word, your word, are both saying, now in present day, that, like, you're saying that you are friends. They're saying that you aren't. You back in the day said that you aren't. So if we put the two narratives together, it means that you weren't. But that doesn't go with the narrative that you want to push. And you know what, babe? Okay. Okay. Because it is. Uh, she could have just left me alone, but she doesn't. She keeps fucking talking about me. So if you're going to keep gaslighting me to the world and saying- Yes! Gaslight girl boss Hannah! Woo! I say it and I know it. Gabby's going to call that firstborn child Gaslight Hannah. I'm delusional and crazy and created a friendship in my mind. Well, then I'm just going to show our friendship. But I'm just going to show our friendship. It's like one text that's like longer than two sentences. Look at our friendship, people! 
How are we supposed to respond to this? <laughs> Ooh, BFFs, wow, look at y'all, like. <laughs> Coming soon, make sure you subscribe to The Gabby Show. <laughs> I'm actually really happy. Um. I honestly, Do I have to be sensitive towards Gabby's obvious apparent meltdown whenever she's telling us that she's never been better? Like, how do, how do we go about this? You know what I mean? Gabby is so confident in telling us that this is all a planned move from Gabby. So all these videos dragging all these people is a planned move to like get our attention or whatever. At what cost, babe? At what cost, boss babe? You're harassing people and then complaining about being harassed. You can't do one and then complain about the other. And it's like, okay, if you're really passionate about this little series that you're putting together, okay, Shane Dawson, like, if it's good, we'll watch it. Like, you're someone who firmly believes that work speaks for itself, and look how much controversy you tried desperately clawing to create within the past week. Boss babe, give it up. It's severely embarrassing. Severely. All those videos were created over Trisha, like, responding to, like, a fan's TikTok with an embarrassed emoji about Gabby singing. And Gabby's like, you're gaslighting me! You're harassing me! You're stalking me! You're, like... And we're like... Okay, 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 shut, shut the fuck up. You know what I mean? Damn, Jesus Christ. Um, we want story time Gabby back. Bring her back. We don't want this. <laughs> you know what, maybe the series will be good, but literally your reputation is so tarnished right now from the past week that we don't care. Okay, but Oh, it's gonna call you Bessie. I can't call you Bessie anymore. Mucker, let me know. I love you. I will see you in my next one. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed your stay at the circus. Bye.